welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collective beauty haul. It's been a while since I shopped or I purchased anything related to beauty uh, because you know, I mean, if you don't know yet, I got pregnant and I've just given birth two months ago. So yung last time ko talaga na namili ako ng makeup was in January pa of this year. And before that, I was in a no buy for like a whole year. So super tagal na talaga. And marami nang naging mga releases na I wasn't able to you know, to purchase kasi for practicality reasons. So, hindi naman ako bibili ng makeup just because of the hype. So, I seldom do that or hindi ko nga alam kung ginagawa ko pa yun. I, I mean, I really don't buy makeup just because it's on trend or dahil lahat ng tao yun yung pinag-uusapan na product. Um, I see to it that I really like the item before I buy it. So, I apply actually the sleep on it principle whenever I buy a makeup. So, ibig sabihin nun, before ko bilhin, pag-iisipan ko muna siya, I'll sleep on it for a couple of days. Pag naiisip ko pa rin siya, yun, bibilin ko na siya. <laughs> Kasi yung sabihin, gusto ko siya talaga. So, itong mga products na to, they aren't new in the market. Um, maybe some of them are, pero most of them, matagal na ng releases. So, yung iba last year pa na-release, pero ngayon ko lang sila nabili because of the said reasons. So, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the hot. Alright, so Sephora was launched here in the Philippines in 2015 and since then, wala pa akong binili sa store kahit isa. So, it was my first time to buy from Sephora last October and hindi makeup ang binili ko. I actually bought some skincare products because unfortunately, my skin, especially on my face, it got a bit acne prone. So, medyo nagkaroon ako ng mga bumps on my face and na-develop siya into acne. So, I have acne scars on my cheeks and then I have like active acne dito sa cheeks ko and sa forehead. So yeah, long story short, from having clear skin, naging acne prone yung skin ko and sabi ko sa sarili ko, I will start treating it once I give birth. So, dahil nga nung September ako nanganak and medyo nakapag-adjust na ako by the time na nag-purchase ako nitong mga products na to. Alam ko na yung mga gusto ko talagang bilhin. So, the first thing that I got from Sephora, well, not the first thing, but one of the things that I got from Sephora is this Mario Badescu Skin Care Acne Facial Cleanser. Um, it says that it exfoliates dead skin cells that can clog pores and lead to breakouts with the power of salicylic acid. So, I've been using this for probably a month now. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it, pero nandito na siya. So, matagal-tagal ko na siyang ginagamit. And to be honest, I don't think this is effective. Pero, I keep on using this kasi mahal siya. <laughs> okay. Um, when I bought this, I was really praying and hoping na mag-work siya kasi mahal nga siya. But, unfortunately, hindi niya na-clear talaga yung skin ko. Although, I have noticed na medyo nag-dry up yung ibang mga acne ko or yung ibang mga bumps ko. Medyo nag um, nag-flatten naman siya, pero hindi niya nape-prevent yung mga bagong breakouts or yeah, yung mga bagong acne from coming out. So, I wouldn't say that this is like 100% effective, pero hindi ko rin naman siya sasabihin na this is a garbage product or whatsoever since nga, meron naman siya naging effect sa skin ko. And um, even though it is an acne facial cleanser, hindi siya it's not too strong or um, yeah, too strong yung effect niya sa skin to the point na nag, parang nagiging tight yung skin. So, kasi may mga ibang facial cleanser, especially acne facial cleanser, na ganun yung effect. So, fortunately, hindi naman siya ganun. So, like what I've said, I'm still using this. I'm hoping na mag-work siya. I don't know, maybe I'm using the wrong toner or the wrong moisturizer, whatever, but yeah, so this is one of the products that I purchased from Sephora during my first purchase or my first time to shop there. So the next two things that I got from Sephora are moisturizers. So this one is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, um, non-comedogenic, non okay, safe for sensitive skin, and yeah. So, I chose this because First Aid Beauty has a lot of good reviews online. And kilala sila sa brand na caters to, you know, people with sensitive skin. So, 
if you have sensitive skin or delicate yung skin mo sa mga moisturizers, things like that, I think First Aid Beauty is a good brand. And I started using this only like this week. And I really like this. Um, okay siya ng moisturizer. I use this as a daytime moisturizer. It has a cream consistency. Wait, I'm gonna show you a little bit. So, ayan siya. Cream consistency. And pag nilagay mo siya sa face mo, you'd really feel na yung face mo nasa smooth. Smoothen niya. And nahahydrate niya. And hindi naman nag last yung parang creamy, oily feeling sa face. After a while, siguro mga after an hour, hindi mo naman feel yung ganong oiliness. So, hindi siya ganun kataki. Yung ibang moisturizer kasi parang after a few hours, mafe-feel mo pa rin parang patang oily-oily ng face ko. So, siya, hindi siya ganun. Which I like about it. And I also like the smell. Parang amoy... Ewan ko ano may amoy lotion na hindi ganun ka-strong yung scent niya. And then, this one I use as a nighttime moisturizer. This is the Philosophy Take a Deep Breath Night Gel Balm. So, yung consistency nito is very interesting. So, it has like a, you know, a pudding or a gel, gelatin. Ganon yung consistency niya. I don't know if you can see it. Light green siya. Very, very light green yung color niya. And I've used Philosophy face creams before. I've used their Hope in a Jar, Day Cream, and Night Cream. I didn't like the Night Cream kasi yung amoy niya maasi. <laughs> it has a funky smell. So, hindi ko siya nagustuhan. And sayang nga because nag-expire na siya, hindi ko siya nagamit masyado. Siguro mga less than 10 times ko lang nagamit. And I had to dispose it because nga, nag-expire na siya. But the Day Cream, I really like. I've used it a couple of times. And, hindi ko rin siya naubos. Nag-expire din siya. Pero, at least, mas nagamit ko siya kaysa doon sa night cream. So, this one naman, I use this also at night. And, I really like the scent of this. Ito yata yung pinakamabango sa lahat ng philosophy products na natatry ko so far. When it comes to their facial creams or facial gels. So, it is an oil-free detoxifying gel balm. So, meaning to say, um, okay siya even if you have oily skin. And, ang maganda dito, you would really feel na yung skin mo is very moisturized. Pagkagising mo, kinabukasan. So, very moisturizing siya. Even the day after, you'd really feel it. And, pag alimbawa, nag, naghilamos ka na in the morning or pag maliligo ka na, mararamdaman mo pa rin na, hey, I have a moisturizer on. Kasi, mararamdaman mo na parang meron kang cream pag hinilamusan mo yung face mo. So, okay to. I really like this product. Okay, so those three are my first purchases from Sephora. And I got some freebies when I purchased. So, I got this. During that time, kaka-launch lang ng Fenty Beauty. So, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. For sure, you've heard of it. For sure, you've watched reviews about it. I got two samplers of their foundation. The Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I got it in the shade 210 and 420. So, the thing is, just a backstory. I actually want to buy the foundation. Pero, um, I've been I've been watching videos about it, reviews, ganyan. And, medyo mas marami yung negative reviews na nabasa ko about this foundation. So, hindi ako 100% sure kung bibilin ko ba or hindi. And good thing, when I purchased this skincare products, ito yung freebie nila that time. So, naisip ko, okay, hindi ko muna bibilin. I'm gonna try it out first. And to be honest, hindi ko pa natatry. <laughs> so, tagal na siya sa akin, hindi ko pa natatry. Pero, I'm planning to try it out first. And if magustuhan ko siya, then that's the time that I will buy the full size. So, again, I have the shade 420 and 210. So, yung 420, it's really dark, a dark shade. Pero, you can, I think I can use this as a uh, parang bronzer, bronzing cream. So, what else do we have here? By the way, I have everything here. No, not everything. This isn't everything. <laughs> okay. So, dahil nga hindi nag-work si Mario Badescu para sa aking acne, nag-decide ako, purchase an item from Beauty Manila na has a lot of good reviews and marami nagsasabi na this is a miracle worker when it comes to acne. Ganyan, ganyan. And this is the Cos RX or COS RX One Step Pimple Clear Pad. So, ito siya. 
ang bongga ng cover niya. Hindi ko alam kung babae siya o lalaki o bading, pero ayan siya. <laughs> so, I don't know how I feel about this as well. Like what I've said, this has a lot of good reviews online. Sabi nila, miracle worker ito, blah blah blah, kung wala ka agad yung pimple mo after you use it for like a day or two days. And I don't know why it's not working. Hindi siya nag-work sa akin. I still have new, I still have pimples and meron pa ako mga bago na namang borders sa mukha. So, I don't know. Anyway, if you're curious about how it looks like, so pads siya. So, kukuha ka lang ng isang pad. Very thin pad lang siya. And iwa-wipe mo siya sa face mo after mo mag-cleanse ng face. So, parang toner siya. Yun yung ano niya. And, yun nga. Hindi ko alam kung effective siya. Pero, pag ginagamit ba, okay, whenever I have a new pimple, so gagamitin ko to, and napapansin ko naman na the next day, lumiliit na kagad yung pimple, pero hindi siya nawawala ng, as in, nagdi-disappear. Okay, so I think, may epekto naman siya, pero hindi siya miracle worker for me. Another thing that I got from Beauty Manila is the Skin Gentle Pit Perfect Underarm Whitening Cream. Okay, so this is a whitening cream. Hindi ko napapakita. Kulay white lang siya and you will wipe this on your underarm area. And yun, pampaputi daw siya ng kili-kili. Um, unfortunately, when I got pregnant this time around, nag-darken yung aking underarm ng mga 2 to 3 skin tones. So, kailangan ko talaga to kasi sabi ko, papaputiin ko talaga tong kili-kili ko. <laughs> and, to be fair, when I started using this, napansin ko naman na nag-lighten ng mga one skin tone yung aking underarm. Of course, it's still not as white as it was before, and I don't think it will ever be. But, I'm just glad, na, but I'm still very glad na nalighten pa rin niya kahit paano yung aking underarm. And the last thing that I got from Beauty Manila, by the way, all my Beauty Manila purchases came from, came from, came in a plastic ziplock like this. I remember during the time na kaka-launch pa lang nila and I tried the online shop. Um, Naka-box pa yung mga orders, I think. Parang twice ako nag-order sa kanila and both naka-box siya. So it's like opening a gift and I didn't know na na-change na nila into a ziplock. Okay pa rin naman kasi maganda yung quality ng plastic and I think mas convenient or mas versatile siya since kahit malaki yung ilalagay mo, kasha siya. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this haul. Well, it has, pero okay, packaging. So, the last thing that I got from Beauty Manila is this Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. It has hyaluronic acid and black oat. Okay, so this is a moisturizing spray that you can use before makeup as it moisturizes and prep the face and then you can also use this as nighttime moisturizer the perfect first layer of moisture so I mean to say you can use like this one and um, you can put another moisturizer on top and then you can use this anytime it gives a burst of hydration. When you feel that your skin is tight or super dry, um, this is a spray or a mist that you can use. I actually heard this from Kathleen Lights. She hauled this and she included this in one of her favorites in 2016, I think. And, sa totoo lang, ng mga setting spray or ng mga mist na ganyan. Well, I do have a hydrating mist from MAC. Yung, um, I forgot what it's called. Pero, yun lang yung meron ako. Pero, I'm starting to get into using, like, mga primer spray and setting spray para naman ma-up ang aking makeup game. So, yeah. I'm gonna use this in a future tutorial and probably start using this at night. Um, after I use my Cos RX. Okay, so those are all the things that I got from Beauty Manila. The next few items that I'm going to talk about are from an online shop in, on Instagram called Makeup Hall PH. It's one of the online shops on Instagram that I truly trust. Na they carry authentic, legit makeup. Maraming mga online shops on Instagram na makikita mo parang mga original or authentic yung items. Pero you would do ano yung original sa hindi. So yun, isa yung online shop na yun sa talagang pinagkakatiwalaan ko. 
and I got these items from them, like what I've said. The first item that I got is something that I used in my previous tutorial, which is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So if you haven't seen that tutorial yet, I'm going to link it in the description box to check it out. And this is how the palette looks like. So as you can see, it has a lot of warm shades, peachy tones, of course, it's sweet peach. This isn't their new release. Ilang months na rin to sa market kasi yung new release nila is called the Peaches and Cream. So that one, may palette din sila but smaller one and I think that one has an all matte shades. So ito, it's a combination of both matte, shimmer, and you know, satin eyeshadows. And I really like this. So far, it's good. The next palette that I got from Makeup Haul PH is an old release. Actually, 2016 pa to na release. This is the Kathleen Lights by Morphe palette. So, 2016 pa to na release. Pero ngayon ko lang siya nabili. Kasi hindi naman ako... Well, I wasn't really that interested in getting this when it comes to the shades. Kasi mas man neutral lang siya. Um, so, it comes in this cardboard packaging the very morphe so ah okay and the shades look like this so it's a combination of well not a combination most of the shades are really warm so i think yung mga hindi lang warm dito is itong nandito sa part na to and the rest are warm shades because you know Kathleen lights love warm shades na eyeshadows and warm shades na makeup so it's expected na ganito yung palette na ilalabas niya and yeah I bought this like what I've said not because of the shades kasi to be honest I have other palettes with this kind of um, color scheme pero I bought this dahil lang favorite ko si Kathleen Lights so for sure alam niyo yan if you've watched like my previous videos lalo na yung mga videos ko last year wherein I mentioned probably in every video na siya yung favorite ko. So, yun. So, the next thing that I got from Beauty, no, from Makeup Haul PH is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I got mine in the shade Buff Bisque. This is a talked about item online. A lot of YouTubers locally and internationally love this foundation and I'm so excited to try it out and see if it's really, you know, worth it. Pero super affordable ang Wet n Wild foundation. So, hindi naman siya makakasakit sa damdamin kung hindi siya ganun kaganda. Actually, this is, this is cheaper than the L'Oreal True Match, which is like one of my favorite foundations ever. So, yeah, so excited to try this out. Another Wet n Wild product that I got is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. As mentioned a while ago, I'm starting to get into setting sprays, primer sprays, yung mga ganyan, to up up my, to up up my makeup game. And yeah, I'm also excited to use this kasi maganda rin, positive reviews din to online. Another thing that I got is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in Translucent. So this is just a loose setting powder. And I used this in my previous tutorial, dun nga sa aking peach makeup look. And to be honest, hindi ko siya nagustuhan that time. Dahil hindi siya nag-set and nag-blend well with the foundation. I don't know if it's with the foundation or with the concealer that I used. Pero it looked terrible under my eyes. Kitang-kita mo na may powder. And the weird thing is, never pa yun nangyari when I use my Nichido Final Powder. And that one is cheaper than this one. This is 300 plus. Yung Nichido Final Powder is like 140. Pero syempre, I'm still going to use this. And hopefully, by that time, and you know, yung mga future usage ko nito, magustuhan ko siya. Okay, so the last thing that I got from Makeup Haul PH is a mascara. This is the Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara. So, ayan siya. And I just want to try out the brand. Marami namang positive reviews ang Jordana depending on their item or on the product. So, I think one of their most talked about products 
is their mascara. So, I don't know if ito yun. I believe their volumizing mascaras are good. So, excited ako itry ito kasi so far, lahat na natatry kong volumizing mascara, like the one from CoverGirl, yung Clump Crusher, yung sa Essence na big volume something something, hindi siya nag-work sa akin. As in, hindi niya nag-volumize yung aking lashes. And I really need a volumizing mascara kasi yung eyelashes ko very sparse, very thin. So, mas gusto ko yung volumizing kesa sa lengthening. And, I'm hoping na okay to kasi very affordable to. This is like 100 plus lang. Alright, so those are all the things that I got from Makeup Haul PH. And then, I went on a last minute shopping at Sephora for more Jacob products. Ito naman, nagamitan ko siya ng discount code or coupon. So, malaki yung naging savings ko dito. And, I bought this kasi I'm planning to do a one brand makeup tutorial na high-end. Um, I did one last year using Essence products. So, that one is very affordable brand. And this time, I want to do a high-end version of the one brand makeup tutorial. And, isip ko, Marc Jacobs na lang since I do have their old um, eyeshadow palettes, yung Night Owl and Lolita. Lolita is like their most famous eyeshadow palette that time. So, meron na ako nun. And isip ko, I can do a makeup look na since I have an eyeshadow na. Hindi ko na lang bumili ng eyeshadow palette. Alright, so these are the things that I got from Marc Jacobs. Um, I got their Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. I was supposed to get the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. The most talked about foundation from the brand. Pero... I prevented myself from <laughs> doing so dahil, again, I try not to fall into the hype whenever I buy items. Hindi po kaya pinag-uusapan siya ng 10,000 people, e bibilin ko na siya. So, I wanna, you know, I wanna discover new items myself. So, gusto ko to i-try. This is how the foundation looks like. Super ganda ng packaging ng Marc Jacobs. Very luxurious. So, you know that it is a luxury brand. Very social. So, ayan siya. And I got this in the shade Beige Light. Anyway, this has a radiant finish. Yeah, I think this is perfect for those with um, dry skin. Pero... According to the reviews, kahit oily skin, they can get away with this foundation. So, I'm excited to try... No, not that. I'm excited to try this out. Okay, the next thing that I got is this one. Ito, matagal ko na itong pinag-iisipan. As in, mga 2 to 3 years ago, ko pa itong pinag-iisipan. Kasi, matagal na rin itong na-release. And, ngayon ko lang siya nabili. This is the Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder. I have a dupe for this, you know, the Wet n Wild Contour Powder, yung Dulce de Leche. And, gusto ko rin matry kung worth it ba to. Kung dapat ka pang bumili nito, kasi kung meron naman ng Wet n Wild, diba, why bother purchasing something expensive like this? So, A plus for packaging. Ang ganda. And, this is a Yumongus Contour Powder. So, there you go. I got this in 40... Mali, 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 mali. I don't know. May, may shade ba to? I think this is the light one. I don't know kung may shade to. Sa totoo lang. Gawa-gawa ko lang yun. Pero, ayan siya. Very, very huge. And, it has a huge mirror na ang ganda. Kasi saktong-sakto yung mukha mo. Pag gumanyan ka, oh, boom. Mukha mo talaga yung makikita mo. So, perfect siya pang makeup. If you're gonna do your makeup. Okay. Oh, very delicate. Tatakot akong buksan. Sa totoo lang, nakakatakot buksan yung mga packaging ng Marc Jacobs dahil parang masisira sila. No, hindi parang masisira. Parang pag nalaglag mo siya, wasak talaga. For sure. Hindi parang sigurado yun. So, the next thing that I got, ito, nakita ko lang siya, super sale siya talaga. As in, this is the only shade na naka super sale sa Sephora. And hindi ko alam kung bakit. But this is the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop Eye Stick in the shade 414 
Shoshana. Shoshana. Anyway, it comes in this box. As usual, the black and white packaging. And ito siya. It's like a pen. This is an eye stick. So, eye shadow siya in stick form. And it's a retractable eye stick. You don't have to sharpen it. And then, yung shade niya. It's like a teal turquoise shade. I don't know what shade this is. Pero, ang ganda niya. And, hindi ko talaga alam ba't ito nakasale. In fairness, I got this at super cheap. I think I can use this as an overall eyelid color or pwede rin as an eyeliner for an added pop of color sa eyes. I'm excited. I'm excited to use this. And, ang ganda ng color niya. And, the last thing that I got from Marc Jacobs is ito. Ito. This is what I'm super excited about. And excited na akong gamitin to. Tatry ko nga ngayon. So, ito ang Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I think this is a limited edition product. This is a liquid highlighter. Highlighter. Yeah. Highlighter. And ito siya. <laughs> super ganda. Again, this is the Dew Drops Into You. Ito siya. And try natin, diba? Para bongga. Kasi dapat, try ko yung ibang products. Pero as usual, pag nag-haul ako, nakakalimutan ko mag-try ng products. Diba bongga? So, I think, to use this, magpapump ka lang dito sa kamay mo. Na ayaw niyang gumana. Bakit ayaw niyang gumana? Hala, hindi ako marunong. <laughs> Ayun. Ayun na. Gumana na. <laughs> so, magpapump ka lang dyan sa kamay mo ng kung gano yung amount na gusto mo. And mukhang marami yung nalagay ko. Pero, sige. We'll see. And then, pwede mo siyang i-apply just using your finger. So, igaganyan mo lang siya. And then, blend it out with your finger. Mmm, bango. Bango niya in fair view. Ang ganda rin nalagay dito ako tayo. Ayan, boom. Highlighter. Kailangan natin i-blend dahil nalagay ko siya lahat dun sa part na yun. Pero, ang bango niya, guys. Oh my God, ang dami dun sa side na yun. Wait lang, tatanggalin ko lang yung iba. Actually, ito dapat ginamit ko eh. Yung aking foundation brush. So, anyway, we'll do better here sa other side. So, dito siya. Yan. Perfect. Puma perfect. So, ayan siya. A little goes a long way, obviously. Kasi, ang dami kong nalagay na naman. Okay. So, gold siya. Pero, hindi naman siya yung tipong mukha kang may streak or may gold-gold talaga sa mukha. Sheen lang talaga siya. And very highlighting lang talaga yung itsura niya. So, ayan siya, guys. I like it. So far. First time ko palang ginamit. I like it. Nakitang-kita mo naman, oh. If interested kayo, makakahanap pa kayo nito online sa Sephora PH. Baka meron pa. Ah! Yeah. I like it. I, ayan, oh. Kitang-kita mo yung glow, di ba? Mm. Okay, so those are all the more checkup products that I got. And again, gagawa ako ng one brand makeup tutorial to test out the foundation, the eye stick, and what else? The, the Instamart Contour Palette. Okay, so those are all the things that I got from Sephora, Beauty Manila, and Makeup Hall Philippines. This is just the first part of this haul. Meron tayong part 2. So, there you have it, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Find this video helpful, especially dun sa mga products na natry ko na, nabigyan ko ng first impression or ng short reviews. So, if you guys wanna see more of my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Please help me reach 200 subbies before the year ends because that's my simple goal. And, oh, by the way, I'll be having another giveaway. Um, maybe this week or next week. I'm not yet sure. Probably in the next video or next next. 
but if you want to join, if you want to win an awesome prize, then do subscribe to my channel so that you get updated. Just a disclaimer, I really do giveaways, but I used to do it on my blog, so it's styleattempt.tumblr.com. You can search and read my posts like in 2011, 2012, 2013, you would see that I really do giveaways. So, I don't have anything more to say. Again, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you again in my next video. Bye!